Hey everyone, one question that I get asked all the time is, I'm really interested in jewelry making, but I don't know which tools I need to get started. Well, today I'm going to answer that question. I've compiled a list of everything that you would need, and I'm gonna be going over all of it in this video. And most excitingly, we're gonna be giving away every single tool featured in this video to one lucky future goldsmith. Now, all of this was made possible through a partnership I have with Stoller, and Stoller is a jewelry supply company that I use to pretty much help me run my business. They supply me with everything I need from tools to recycled metals like gold and platinum, even diamonds and gemstones. So if you wanna figure out how you can enter yourself into this giveaway, stick around. We're gonna be talking about that in a little bit. But until then, let's go ahead and jump into the shop and see what tools we need to become jewelry makers. It all begins with a jeweler's bench, the very foundation of every workshop. This is a terrific bench for a beginner. It's solid wood, relatively inexpensive, a great place to work with your hands. We'll need to attach a hanger for the motor and flex shaft. Two hooks is preferable so we can add to it later. There's an excellent starter kit made by Fordham. It includes a motor, flex shaft, and a quick change handpiece. Oh, did I mention the hanger swings? This kit also includes accessories like discs, wheels, buffs, and burrs. Also this nifty spinning burr holder. Lastly, the foot pedal, which activates and controls the speed of your motor. So remember when I mentioned the quick change handpiece? Let's find out just how quick. And without my butter fingers, it's even faster. This bench comes with a standard wood bench pin. However, I prefer to install this mounting plate made by GRS. We still get our bench pin, but just look at how much flexibility this gives us. The soldering station, a solder block at its base equipped with third arms, clamps to hold your jewelry for you while you solder. This station has two third arms, so double third arms, third and fourth arms, you decide. You'll need a solder pick too. This one has a titanium handle, so extra light. And now for one of my favorite tools in the shop, the little torch. Made for little flames, perfect for jewelry. The build quality is just exceptional. It feels so good in your hand. It comes with an assortment of torch tips for different flame sizes. This magnetic holder works well too. The little torch has two hoses, one for gas and the other for oxygen. I personally like to use propane. Please keep in mind that different gas types require different setups. We're gonna need something that connects the hoses to the tanks, and that would be these regulators. In short, they regulate the amount of gas or air leaving the tanks, and you can adjust the pressure accordingly. Remember, safety first. This video is only meant to show the torch setup I use. It is not an installation video. Please educate yourself before operating a torch. This includes gas options, the correct regulators, proper installation, and remember to follow all local laws, regulations, and fire codes. Next up, we have hand tools, and what a joy they are. There are many ways to store them, but I really like this weighted bench top stand. Let's go over some of the essentials. First up, we have ring bending pliers, doing exactly that. Stone setting pliers, perfect for tightening and setting stones. Probably not the most beginner tool on this list, but hey, I love them that much. Next, we have micro cutters, used to cut things like chain and wire. Metal bending pliers, creating a more precise bend. Round nose pliers, perfect for working with wire. 
flat nose pliers, great for so many things, including prong straightening. Solder shears, great for cutting small chips of solder. These are but a few hand tools that I love. It almost seems like you can never have enough, honestly. More items you'll definitely want on your bench. Fine tweezers, doing the things my large fingers struggle with. Locking diamond tweezers, perfect for securing stones while you show them off or inspect them. A jeweler's loop. Learn to use one of these with confidence and you'll certainly impress your friends. Bonus points for spelling loop correctly. Four tools to go the distance with. A saw for cutting, a file for filing, and a mandrel for mandreling. The size gauge in the groove is nice and needed. Lastly, assorted hammers like rawhides for rounding out rings and chasing hammers for moving metal and adding hammer finishes. A bench lamp works wonders for lighting up your workspace. The lighting on this one is adjustable. Last, but certainly not least, when sitting at a bench for long periods of time, you'll want to invest in a good chair. This one is height adjustable and glides like a dream. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the bench and tool giveaway. And I'm so excited to announce that I've partnered with Stoller on this. I've been using them ever since I started my own business about a decade ago. And honestly, if you don't believe me, if you need any more convincing, check out my Instagram post from about five years ago. You see the hat? I mean, it's pretty overwhelming evidence at this point. And Stoller has a great website that I use all the time to order everything I need for my business. Tools, metals, solder, wire, packaging, stones, really everything I need, they have it. They also have terrific customer service. In fact, I just bought a 3D printer from them last year, and even after poring over the instruction manual, I still had some questions about it. So I simply called up Stoller, they transferred me over to their tools team, and I was able to find out everything that I needed to get up and running. They also have a wonderful sales department, which can direct you to any product or part that you need for your projects. They also have diamond and gemstone specialists, CAD specialists, really anything you need, they got you covered. All right, so here we go. In order to officially enter yourself into the bench and tool giveaway, visit stoller.com forward slash modern goldsmith. You can also find a link down in the description below. So once you visit that page, simply leave your contact information and a Stoller account representative will reach out to you and help you sign up for your very own Stoller account. It's completely free and very important. You will only be entered into the bench and tool giveaway once you have an active Stuller account. And don't worry, you will definitely be notified when your account is active. Signups are from June 14th through July 12th, and the winner will be announced on July 14th. I'm so incredibly excited to see who's going to win, and I really hope that this video was beneficial to you, that it really served as a starting point for you to enter the world of goldsmithing and jewelry making. Thank you so much for your time, and have a lovely day.